Hi, I'm Ryan Harris, Super Bowl champion and former Denver Bronco, and today we're tackling the biggest myths about organ, eye, and tissue donation. People claim there are many reasons they do not sign up to be organ, eye, and tissue donors. Well, we want to help you get the facts and learn about how everyone can sign up to be a donor. Myth, I just haven't thought about. Research shows that most people do not sign up to be organ, eye, and tissue donors simply because they just haven't gotten around to it. But what if we all took a moment to think about the impact we can have on one or more lives? Myth, my family should decide after I pass. Well, it's normal for people to think that it's a family decision when it comes to organ, eye, and tissue donation. However, donor family members have told us that conversations with their loved ones regarding their decision to be a donor helped alleviate the burden of having them make the decision on their loved one's behalf during a time of great grief and loss. Myth, I'm not healthy enough to donate. No matter what type of illness or medical condition you have, it may still be possible for you to give the gift of life. Many organ recipients have been donors themselves, so let the medical professionals determine if you are a candidate for donation at the time of your passing. Myth, I'm too busy to sign up. In this day and age, making end-of-life decisions may not be top of mind, and that's why Donate Life Colorado works hard to put this important message in front of our community. Think about it, talk about it, and take action to designate your decision. Myth, I can't donate at my age. People rule themselves out as potential donors due to health or age restrictions, but each person is evaluated at the time of their passing by a medical professional and determined whether or not they are eligible to be a donor. There have been donors from birth to over 100 years of age. Myth, people think that if doctors know they're a registered organ donor, they won't work as hard to save their life. Well, we know that the first priority of a medical professional is to save lives when sick or injured people come into the hospital. Organ donation isn't even discussed until after death is declared or a family member has decided to take their loved one off ventilated support. In fact, doctors and nurses involved in a person's care before death are not involved in the recovery or transplantation of donated corneas, organs, or tissues. Myth, if you are rich or a celebrity, you can move up the organ donation list more quickly. Well, we know that severity of illness, time spent waiting, blood type and match potential are the factors that determine your place on the waiting list for an organ, eye, or tissue donation. A patient's income, race, and social status are never taken into account in the allocation process. Myth, after donating an organ or tissue, a closed casket funeral is the only option. That's not true. We know that the organ recovery organization here treats each donor with the utmost respect and dignity, allowing a donor's body to be viewed in an open casket funeral. Myth, the family of a donor will be charged for donating a loved one's organs. We know that costs associated with recovering and packaging organs and tissues for transplant are never passed on to the donor family. The family may be expected to pay for medical expenses incurred before death is declared and involving the funeral arrangements, but never the donation. We can all say yes at the local driver's license office or online at donatelifecolorado.org.